What's up squad fam? Welcome. Um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a low-key kind of video. I feel like I've just been pumping out video essays like I'm a birthing factory. You know, I just keep getting pregnant and I just keep birthing all those babies and it's like it's not even individual one by one. You know, like humans do it unless it's like, you know, twins or triplets or whatever. Quadruplets? God, no. Just euthanize me if I ever have quadru- quad- quadruplets? Quintuplets? No. Take me out to the back. Shoot me in the head. That's just not happening. I'm sorry. Is that too graphic for the first 30 seconds of the video? It's gonna be a little bit of a chiller video because I don't have a script, as you can tell, which means that I'm just gonna be talking out of my backside. Yeah, my anus has grown teeth in a in a tongue, and we it just it just won't stop talking. It's giving very much Jeff the Mongoose. Remember that video that you didn't watch? I'm joking. This isn't about that. We are gonna be looking at Twitter and there's actually this one Twitter thread that I saw semi-recently. You know, I read like the first couple of tweets in this thread and I was like, wow, that's crazy. But then I realized, I was like, you know what? This could this could be content. And I saw that Nick is not green also made a video about this. And I was like, damn, beat me to it. My video is different and better because I am a woman. So Kelsey, on twitter.com made a thread about this dude that that they like they talked to not even i don't even think they matched i don't know what happened but this dude that they saw on a dating site but like they didn't like match or i don't think they like they never really had like a conversation and so the dude went out of their way to find their social media and like dm them and it was like very, very weird. And we're gonna be, we're gonna look at this together. Cause like I said, I saw like the first couple of tweets in the thread, but then like more and more kept coming out. And I was like, Whoo! we have to dissect this together. Sorry, it took so long for me to explain that. I'm like, I'm nothing without a script. Uh, you wanna know why I make scripted videos? It's because uh, my brain is like, snaps is firing. Shop, 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 shop. It's giving Star Wars fight scene in my head all the time. The lightsabers are just Chewbacca's in the back going all the time. Yoda's over here being like, may the force be with you. Like it, there's a lot going on up here. We need a script. Not today though. Let's get into it, yeah. Get into it, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of how all of my social media looks because I'm turning into a grandma and so the text on everything is just huge. So here's Kelsey. Kelsey tweeted originally. This was June 16th, so we know we're a little late to the party, but it's fine. 21 million views. My God. I'm so fucking angry right now. Stop finding women you see on dating apps on their social personal what words i can't read okay dating apps on their personal social media profiles especially if you haven't connected and there are zero identifiers in their profiles i got these and let my curiosity get the better of me videos and replies and you know truthfully i would have scrolled right on past this thread truthfully until i saw the videos in replies part i was like oh oh we got we got videos say less so Let's read this. So this is from Ryan Andrews, the whitest name I've ever heard. Kelsey. I mean, uh, K oh God, I, I've read this already and I'm already, I feel like it's one thing to read it in your head, but then it's like a whole other thing to read it out loud. It's like a different level of embarrassment. I'm, I'm embarrassed for you, Ryan Andrews. Mayhaps. Nobody says that. Nobody that's human says that. Mayhaps that was a tad overly enthusiastic for a stranger danger message on a sunny Friday morning. My bad. Let's go with dot 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 uh dot 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 can I explain? Fuck yeah, that works. Listen, I do dot dot dots over text all the time. You know, it really shows tone. It really gets my point across because, you know, over text, you just, you never really know how somebody really feels about whatever they're saying. And so I find that the dot 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 really just gets my point across, but like the uh on top, I don't know. I can't even judge. I just feel like the way that they're doing this, this is, this is not working. It's one thing to like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just talking. Again, my anus grew teeth and a tongue and we're just, it's flapping its, its lips. Sorry, do I know you? Right, like who the hell are you? Oh, hey, no, we don't know each other. Sincere apologies for this sub, subterfuge. What? Subterfuge. So I did say it right. Weird. I'm just smart. Too smart for my own good. Deceit used in order to achieve one's goal. Hmm. Okay. 
well, somebody clearly swallowed a thesaurus to try to look smart. Ryan Andrews over here has an anus that grew teeth and a tongue and his mouth. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. That's not, it's not funny. Stop laughing. Have some decorum. Speaking of decorum. Did someone say decorum? You see that sticker right there? You see this? This is something that you can purchase because my merch shop is now available. It's open and it's down in the description if you would like to buy anything. I have this sticker, I have a t-shirt, and then I have a beanie. You could buy all of them, none of them, it really doesn't matter to me, but my merch shop is now available for purchasing. Buy things, please buy things. Back to the video. If you give me the tiniest room, I'd be happy to explain. I reckon that said explanation will bring laughs and smiles. P.S. Not trying to rope you into a pyramid scheme to sell fancy Tupperware yet. You see, this would be charming if it, if you know, no, it's not. If this isn't charming at all, maybe I'm just an idiot or I'm just into people who absolutely have like negative riz. I don't know what happens, but it's like, I like people who try something different, you know, because it's, you know, we had, there's the standard riz, you know, the classic pickup lines, you know, are you from Tennessee? Cause you're the only 10 I see. Did you come out of my ass because you're the shit? Like, right. Like, you know, that's the typical stuff. I feel like I'm giving Ryan Andrews a little bit too much credit here. I'm like, as I'm talking, I realized I was like, you know why? It sounds like I'm giving him credit. Now I don't wanna give him credit because this is weird despite everything. It doesn't matter that he has that unique awkward riz if he's using it in an uncouth way. Very dirty. You're dirty, Ryan Andrews. Go to hell, Ryan Andrews. I, d I don't know you, I'm sorry. I don't need to. This is weird. You're weird, Ryan Andrews. Explain away. Oh God, I just spent 60 minutes singing to seniors with a mask on and in a hot room. We didn't ask for your life story, first and foremost. One of my mottos in life is from One Punch Man, 20 words or less. In this message alone, you already used 17 out of your 20. Those last three better count. I'm not sure if I'm funny right now. You're not. That took a lot of energy. Okay, fuck it. I can do this. Like, why is he, why is he hyping himself up in the messages? This is like, this, this is inner monologue stuff. Like he, he's giving the inner monologue out loud. Listened to this first one, which is why it says watch again. I listened to the first one and I had a very physical reaction. Not in that way. The secondhand embarrassment was manifesting itself in it, in my body, like an alien planted an egg in my chest area in my in my ribs or as my dad likes to say you know he likes to make that reference from the bible where it's like eve came from adam's rib and then my dad loves to say like i came from his rib it's a whole thing but literally it's like it's like the, the secondhand embarrassment came from my rib like i was adam birthing eve out of my my side it was very much real it was tangible and i didn't appreciate that let's go so i will suffer through the first one for you again you're welcome don't say i don't do anything for you and then we're gonna suffer through the rest of them because there are a lot and they are long too very long i hate voice memos sorry i'm stalling as you can tell because i don't want to listen to this again but we're gonna listen to this again hey kelsey how's it going don't mind me i fucking hate texting i think we're all better without it we didn't ask already in the first five seconds already not getting to the point i don't appreciate people who don't get to the point i know that's ironic coming from me but it's like if you're going to trying to tell me something specifically I really should stop talking because I don't do that. Wow, the call is coming from inside the house, huh? <laughs> right, like, <laughs> what is it? The pot that called the kettle black? Whatever that is. Is that how that goes? I don't know. So I usually use one of these when I can. Um, also, I don't know if you've ever seen that Key and peel skit, but that's how I feel about texting. I could go on. Anyway, don't, um, please don't. I just want you to know right off the bat, I fully accept how fucking weird this is. I'm sorry, but like I said, I think if you give me a second, you'll probably end up laughing and... Like, I'm already not laughing. Like, this is, you're not funny. Not that you need my permission, but feel free to just laugh directly at me for being a fucking idiot. <laughs> that was not a real laugh. <laughs> that was not a joke. That was not a real laugh. For I am surely about to embarrass myself right now. I would also make the argument that embarrassing myself on a microphone is a large part of my job and I'm quite good at it. Not only are you going to embarrass yourself in front of a microphone, you're going to do it in front of an audience. Hello, everyone wave and say hi. Hi, Ryan Andrews. We know where you live, Ryan Andrews. I'm sorry. No, I don't. No, we don't. Got it. So uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> and sorry for the delay. I was going to get back to you, but I just, someone called about a gig. We don't give a fuck. We don't care. Get to the point.
tomorrow and I'm trying to help them find a musician. Also, I'm not sure if I'm fucking funny anymore. You're I just not. spent 60 minutes, like I said, uh, playing guitar and singing to a room full of senior citizens, but the room was stuffy and hot. I had to... Now I know how you guys feel while you're watching my videos. I'm so sorry. Like, this is, like, very eye-opening for me. A whole minute in, haven't even gotten... Like, wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> To do it with the surgical mask on, and I'm not sure if I have any funny or social energy left, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and fake it right now. So thank you for your understanding and patience. And uh, here goes nothing. I'm a fucking idiot. Enjoy. So that was the first, but okay, I see. So I was minding my own business last week on Ye Old Bumble, everyone's favorite online dating app. Punch. I'm not a big fan of dating apps. I I downloaded dating apps before just a troll. I'm really just a troll. I don't like. I don't take that shit seriously at all. The I'm, you know, I'm more of the meet people the old fashioned way kind of person. Has that worked out for me? No. Yeah, I'm kind of really just in my, in my uh, selfishness era. I, I care more about money than I do about people. Don't go on Bumble. Well, don't go anywhere. Don't talk to people actually. That's the moral of the story. The moral of the story here is just like, don't ever talk to people ever. Don't even try to meet people the old fashioned way. That's not worth your time either. Be single for the rest of your life and, and die alone. Will it be sad? Maybe in hindsight, I don't know, maybe from the from the lens of other people, but you know, your peace, your inner peace is protected. And truthfully, that's all that you should be caring about. Because in the end of the day, you really die by yourself anyway. If we're being honest with ourselves, I mean, unless, <laughs> unless you kill your partner, then kill yourself. Don't do that. I'm not condoning homicide, murder, what is it? Double, 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 whatever. There's a word for that. I don't know. I'm not condoning that necessarily, but like, that's the only way you're going to get what you want, truthfully or like a nuclear bomb destroys your house, right? And, and y'all are just in the same room together and y'all both get in the blast. Or if you're on that submarine, let's get back to this. Just be in the fucking face. Don't get me started online dating. And um, I came across your bio and I let out a very emasculine noise. I mean, it was not. Um, now I'm kind of curious. What was the noise? Recreate it for us with video visuals. Is that a word? I don't know. It's kind of damn heaven, buddy. But it was not, I honestly, I was like, this chick's made up. My first thought was that my mom paid you to write that bio just to make my day better. And I was curious just to like ask you how much. But the more I read, I was like, holy fuck, this person's my kind of weird. And I just figured I'd say how. I can guarantee you, you are the only person that is your type of weird. You are the only one, Ryan Andrews. There is nobody else out there like you. You can take that as glass half full or glass half empty. I really don't care. I'm just gonna let you know right now, you are alone in this voyage, in this in this sea of despair. You're you're alone on this journey. Hate to break it to you. But like I said, you can you can take that in a good way or a bad way. Then it doesn't matter to me. Audi and that if I talked to myself like an asshole for a couple of minutes, you'd probably feel the same as me. Now I'm not gonna pretend to know the depths of your soul from a couple cursory sentences and some photos, but uh, I am a very good judge of character. I'm a keen study of like personality and psychology. And uh, you know, I've, I've been- I'm already so bored. This guy is so boring. You're not funny. You're not charming. You're boring. I'm bored. I'm yawning over here. Snooze fest. In the trenches of online dating for a couple of years. So I definitely know how to identify the kind of person. I'm like, eh, if nothing else, the world would be better if we were friends. So hear me out. Um, first of all, I never fucking see that shrug emoji. No one else uses it. It's typed into my phone. If I, if I type shrug with two Gs, it just shows up. Same thing on my laptop. Like, I'll use it in work emails. Fuck it. Um, so right away, I'm like, huh, interesting. I don't get it, though. She's cute. For how pretty she is, she should be boring. Why does she seem kind of strange in a good way? <sighs> strange and boring. That's a good, that's a good, you know what? He said it first. Strange and boring. That's what he is. He's boring at best and strange at worst. I'm over here nodding off. The only thing that's keeping me awake right now are the voices. Literally the only thing that's going on up here is just there's a hamster on a wheel just running around. Nah, 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 nah. It's a miracle how I'm still awake right now. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. And I honestly really don't care because I'm just like, I'm so video essayed out. I'm, I cannot look at another Google Doc for at least another week. I'm giving myself a break. This is what you get. Um, I think you said something about live music. My job is actually live music. I play guitar and sing. I do about 25 shows a month. Uh, I know it sounds made up. I feel like I invented the job. It's redonkulous, but I live very... He's... Okay, all right, um, I made a discovery while editing this video, okay? I edited this part out. Um, this was before I started reading all the tweets. 
Listen to what I said. It's ridiculous. Redu redonkulous. I don't know why I was genuinely disgusted by that because I literally said that before. I literally said it and I did not listen to, to that specific voice memo beforehand. So I didn't even know he was going to say that. I'm so stupid. What year are we in? What year are you in, Ryan Andrews? 2023 or 2013? Comfortably, life is good. Um, I do play at a lot of retirement homes and it's great for my self-esteem, Kels, as I am a big hit with women over 80. I had my ass. I believe it. Ass grabbed by someone named Ethel last week and for a second I was pissed and a little put upon and I was like, honestly, I've been working on that. So thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, but yes, um, it's just, oh yeah. And just the night before I'd been talking to one of my best friends in the world, Roxy. Um, we don't know Roxy. You don't need to tell us who Roxy is. I mean, unless that's relevant to the story, why are you telling me? I just hate when people just give unnecessary details in their stories because it's like, we're going to play the shut the fuck up game. You're first. You go first. Your turn. Bernie Broski. So funny. Just people that like match you and they just write, hey. So if someone writes, hey, I just write hi. And if someone writes, sup, I go, nothing much, you. And like people that match me and clearly haven't read my fucking bio, folks will match and be like, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, uh, come on, Chelsea. Like, yeah, you're kind of cute, but I'm pretty damn sweet. Try harder. What is this? What am I listening to? I, I just, I don't even know where, I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm listening to this and I'm like, who am I as a person? What am I doing here? From the day that I was born all the way up until now, what have I done to deserve to end up here in this chair on this particular day, listening to this random guy drone on and on and on and on and on in Instagram or Facebook DM, whatever. How did I get here? This is just one of those moments in life where you're just like, you just got to step back and you're just like, what are we doing? How did we get here? I don't know. It's just to see someone mention that in a bio, I'm like, thank you. I can see that you feel the same as me. <laughs> um, yeah, if people, I, I always think that effort should match interest in dating. So if you're curious if someone's interested or not, um, remember that scene with Justin Long and what's her face in that movie about dating? Nobody knows what you're talking about. Oh, right. He's trying to explain why he found her social media. And I guess he kind of talked about it. He's like, oh yeah, I saw you on Bumble. And so you decided to follow them here on, on, a, on, a, on a different platform without their consent. Mind you, he's over here talking about movies that nobody cares about. And Roxy, at this point, like I'm already zoned. Like, we don't care. Is it he's just not that into you? And he's like, if the guy's interested, he will call. And it's true. So I found a line a couple of years ago where it's like, effort will always match interest. It will show you how interested someone is. And like, I'm pretty goddamn sweet. And I am not that lonely, bored, or horny. I'm not going to. Well, that can't be right because you're here. You here. You went out of your way to go find somebody else's personal social media account just to talk to them. But you're not lonely, bored, or horny. No, we're, we're, sit in silence. Sit in silence and really marinate on that sentence. Really, really just sit down. Really just let that simmer in. Really just let that sit for a second. Let it soak until it gets all pruney. Really just, shh, shh, shh. I look like Danny from The Shining. I don't wanna go there, Mrs. Torrance. I should make a video about The Shining. Take breadcrumbs from someone if I want a sandwich. So if someone hits me with a hey or hi, you can go fuck yourself. I'm worth more. Damn it. This is where the Kelly Clarkson song comes in. Um, but uh, yeah, no, your bio is just, there was so much intentional effort put in. And honestly, the more I scroll down in the pics, I'm like, this does not match up. I don't want to sound like an asshole. Like attractive people can also be interesting and funny, but it's, it's just incredibly rare. I speak. Uh... No, I feel like a lot of people can be very interesting. Just depending on like what buttons you press. I really, I know I've been calling this guy strange, lame and boring. I know, but I feel like with a lot of people, like if you just really like go out of your way to really find out like what they're actually interested in, like I feel like when you find that specific topic, like that particular thing about them, like they can go on for hours and hours and hours. Very rarely, I think you'll find somebody who genuinely isn't interested in anything ever and has like nothing to say and nothing to talk about or blah, 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 blah. I, I feel like there's always something that somebody's interested in. And once you figure out what that thing is, they can talk for hours about it, I think, or at least talk in great, like maybe not for hours, but like in great length or detail about something, you know, and like you can really tell that they're really interested in this particular thing, whether it's something like academic or just something mundane, like, you know, literally just anything. Like, I don't know, like for me, it's BoJack Horseman. Easy, easy, BoJack Horseman, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, that's a big one for me. I can talk about that for, <laughs> I can talk about that. I can just talk about like fashion. I love clothes. I can, there's like, there's a few things that I can really like talk about in grave detail, right? But 
I feel like when you just meet me for the first time, you're just like, you know, first impressions, like, oh, hey, hi, 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 hi. you're not going to know that I'm like obsessed with BoJack Horseman, that I've seen it like a thousand trillion million times. You're not going to know that I'm like super invested in the FNAF lore. You're not going to know that. And I feel like once you give people that avenue, that the space to really express themselves and like their hobbies and their interests, I feel like a lot of people are interesting in their own way. You just got to figure out what that thing is. Fuck off, Ryan Andrews. Uh, speak for myself, because I'd like to consider myself one of those. You're not. Cool. There's more. For the love of fuck. I was like two minutes into one. God damn. Sorry, this next one's five minutes long. I'm like, I'm gonna try not to pause too much. I feel like I'm pausing way too much. But it's because like every other sentence he says, it's like there's something very not right about him. Or them. Him? Them? I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm using them interchangeably. My apologies. And it was awesome and funny and I was so proud of it. And then someone called me again about a gig this evening and it's like... You know that thing where your friends know you're busy or you're on a date or something and then that's when they decide to call? Jesus Christ. We'll, uh, we'll take it as a good sign. Um, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself. But yeah, no, your bio was just the fucking bee's knees. I mean, listen. Oh, top the bee's knees? Wow. I need a minute to think about this. Wow. I, I need a minute to think about this. Top three in like the hundreds or thousands I've seen. It was just, I don't know. I'm a very good judge of character and you just seem like my kind of person. And I'm not saying we're star-crossed lovers. I don't know you and you don't know me. But um, generally the bios hurt my brain and make me think that maybe I should just try the other sex or not talk to people anymore. And yeah, it was it was ridiculous. I, I honestly wouldn't even swipe on someone that lived in Brantford. I'm sorry, my brain slow. We're, we're, I'm lagging. I'm going back to the try the other sex or not talk to people thing. Yeah, don't bother the men. Don't don't bother the other side of the fence with your tomfoolery. Don't talk to people. That's a great idea. Never speak again because I, I, I'm just so horrifically bored right now. I'm nodding off. I feel, it feels like I'm in a lecture. Might as well be because look at these freaking voice memos. Look how long they are. I'm in a lecture. Is this even going to be on the quiz? Probably not. So why are we talking about this? But I meant what I said, like, I think the world would be a better place if you and I were friends, if nothing else. So I fully accept how strange and unconventional this is. I just, I got a vibe and I figured I got to go with it. I was like in a really good mood that day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally winging it. But um, yeah, a lot of my close friends are women and everyone unfortunately- Pause. Y'all know those things people be saying about people whose like best friend is like a woman or like they're just like full, like there's just a bunch of women. Look out for the, like, Ryan Andrews, that's like red flag number one. Okay, well, this is red flag number 473, if we're being honest with ourselves here. If we were to ignore everything else, that's like a huge red flag. Is a man having like a bunch of like female or yeah, just like femme girl friends or friends that are girls? Is that like a red flag? I feel like a lot of people say that and it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know a lot of things. There's a lot of things you can comment about just from yeah there's a lot but you know if you're gonna if, if you haven't commented yet let me know <laughs> she only has a couple stories of having to block someone's number or an ex just won't leave them alone or going to the cops fuck dude i've had to block a few numbers of crazy people that didn't know they were crazy so i the call is coming from inside the house really really apologize sincerely if this in any way like triggered that or it was weird or whatever uh kelsey that's the furthest thing from my intention i just wanted to say howdy and i figured if i talk like an idiot you'd probably I'm sorry. I was about to say something about the howdy thing, but I literally say howdy all the time. If you just comment hi, I'll say howdy back. I, every time, without fail, it's always howdy. I don't know why I picked that up. I don't know where I got that from. I mean, it's not like it's like the most unique thing ever. So it's like, you know, people say howdy, duh. But like, I don't know why I started saying it. Psych. It was from Psych because Sean said howdy to like, some, I don't know why. I can't remember the context, but like, yeah, it was from Psych. Sean Spencer. Good man, good man. James Rode. God bless him. Probably feel like I did after I looked at your bio. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes now. What would I want to know if I was Kelsey? Oh, okay. It's not fair. You've seen mine. Or sorry, I've seen yours and you have not seen mine. If you want, I will screenshot my Bumbo bio. I'm quite proud of it. I think it's pretty fucking good. It represents me well. And um, what else would I want to know if I was you? Gee, I'm like six feet tall, um, pretty damn handsome. Six feet. Wait, why didn't you just say that? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm 5'2", contrary to popular belief. I don't know. I can get away with people who are like in the upper fives. Hell, I could get away with somebody who's like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, right? Like I can get away with that. 
That doesn't bother me because, you know, you're taller than me. So it doesn't really matter. So height has never really been an issue for me, but it's like six feet. Why didn't you just say so? So that threw everything out the window. Someone give me like a seven. No, like a seven and a half out of 10 looks wise. I mean, to my knowledge, no one has dated me for my abs or my hair. I'm guessing it's because I'm funny and dating you for your abs and your hair would require you to have abs and hair. And I know you don't, Ryan Andrews honest and clearly very humble and go to therapy and emotionally intelligent but um yeah you know i'd say seven and a half maybe even an eight i'm feeling really fucking good lately i got a tan i'm up to like 80 second side planks i hate them i got a tan too check it out i went under for a little too long but they're totally worth it for the core and um big feet so you know what that means baby doll big socks <laughs> um what else I feel like I didn't tell you enough about the bio too. That shrug emoji was just, if nothing else, the fact that like you look like a Disney princess and you use that. I just find it fascinating that he finds it fascinating that somebody was using the shrug emoji. I use the shrug emoji all the time. Is that what gets your panties wet, Ryan Andrews? Oh, I was definitely getting strong Kirsten Bell vibes too. And she's awesome. I don't know if you listen to her husband's podcast, Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard. I Nobody listens to that. I'm sorry, maybe some of you do. Do you? I've only really been watching Brittany Broski's new podcast. And Tiny Me Gang. Yeah. It's pretty much it. Yeah, any other podcast just doesn't exist to me. I'm like, who? What are y'all talking about? Nobody cares. Nobody watches that. It's quite the reference, but I have a feeling you might know what that is. One of my favorite episodes, actually, um, is it Lauren Graham that plays Lorelai? She was on there. Anyway, I am um, all over the fucking place, as is my, my job. Uh, but I'm sitting here. I can't even judge. I can't judge. That was me at the beginning of the video. You're a middle-aged guy in his car with the AC on and a SpongeBob shirt. And I would call this like the technological version of, you know, when like Noah stops Allie in the notebook and he's like, I just, I had to talk to you when I see something I want. <laughs> yes, I just made a notebook reference. I don't know. I'm, I'm being a total idiot right now. So if nothing else, I figured you'd have a laugh and a smile and you can fucking make fun of me to your friends. I don't know. Yeah, and it's her. All of, all of Twitter. How many likes did this get? I don't know. Too many. You can already see 4K just on this one alone. I don't know. Now you have a solo podcast for a guy that makes like six grand a month on a microphone being an idiot. I'm sorry. I don't normally bring up money, but I feel like I created my job out of thin air and like I just submitted my 2022 taxes and shit's been getting so much better the last few years. So I'm quite proud of it. That wasn't me trying to uh, impress you though with money. I've got way more impressive shit than that. Uh, no, wait, no. Wait, how much money are we talking? Six feet tall? With money? Yes, I'm shallow. Call me Lady Gaga, cause I'm in the shallow, shallows. I'm so shallow, shallow. Yeah, if you got money and you're like, not a terrible person, I'll take it. It just slipped out. I hope we can still be friends. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm all over the place, but uh, you look like a goddamn Disney princess. The bio completely floored me. I felt like it was written by a friend or something. I just got like strong, like fellow neurodivergent, super cool um gregarious happy person vibes and uh yeah so listen i'm an open book you probably figured that out like six over shares ago if you have any questions for me please hit me don't be shy uh, if you want i'll share no we'll hit you all right with my car when i see you walking down the street and make sure that I, I crank it up go from from 25 to 60 really make sure you really feel it i'm not inciting violence on a random stranger here my bio i feel like it's unfair that you know i've seen yours and you haven't seen mine i'm quite proud of my bio and he's still going um yeah i gotta drive home now because i gotta go sing at a bar in mississauga and i have four more gigs this weekend and it hurts to talk so <laughs> i'm sitting here in my car like a jack weird it hurts to talk and yet here you are joining on for 12 million trillion years about nothing absolutely nothing like i said your your anus grew teeth and a tongue and it just won't stop flapping <laughs> on and on and on and on it's just it's exhausting you're exhausting ryan andrews absolutely just the worst of the worst jackass and uh, yeah i hope that all made some kind of sense and if nothing else please take the sincere compliment i've seen hundreds of shitty bios probably thousands and yours was easily top three the only reason i'm not giving you number one is because then it would seem like i'm lying but I'm a very genuine, honest person, and, uh, yeah. Actually, on my- Usually, genuine and honest people don't have to, like, go out of their way to, like, tell people that. I don't know, I feel like that- the- 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 the, the, the genuineness and the- and the candor really just shows with their actions. I mean, I guess this whole interaction does feel genuine, genuinely terrifying. Um, I don't know about the honest thing. Maybe he thinks this is normal. It's not. You know, spoiler alert. If you didn't get that far, sorry. Spoiler alert. This isn't normal. This guy should have gotten the hint.
It's clear that this person, Kelsey, seems very uncomfortable. Look at the dude you saw me on Bumble and now you found me on Facebook, how? You're not picking up what they're putting down. This is ridiculous. My way home, I'm gonna go to the park and feed the ducks. My favorite swan couple, Mr. Plump and Mr. Plum, uh, Mrs. Plumfet, they just had babies a couple weeks ago. So like I'll run up and they recognize me and the babies are squeaking. The hierarchy of like waterfowl cute babies, it goes swan babies, then ducklings, and then goslings. But um, yes, I may or may not do that four to seven times a week. I'm a huge animal lover. Dogs are better than cats. Cats suck. Sorry if you have cats, but I'm sure your cat. Okay, I don't have to listen to the rest of this. Cats suck? Kelsey's like, whoa, dude, you found me on Bubble, now you found me on Facebook. Then Ryan Andrews over here is like, oh, honestly, I just typed in Kelsey and I guess he got lucky. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, weird coinkadink. Let me slide in the DMs. Man, what a loser. Anyway, so this is Kelsey's Bumble profile. Give me a completed profile and give, and I'll give you more than a hey. Okay, I guess that's like one of the things that that dude was droning on and on and on about, you know, about like how dry people are when they slide in. So I guess that's one thing. Kelsey likes iced coffee, weightlifting, reading, bonfires, traveling, hiking, festivals, live music, cooking. All right, that's normal stuff. Nothing crazy. You can find a lot of people who like like a good chunk of this stuff. So it's like, not that I'm not trying to diss Kelsey. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying like, you know, nothing completely out of the ordinary because this man is acting like Kelsey came from like heaven. Dislikes extreme, clo uh, extreme cold, joy killers, bigots, mosquitoes, slow walkers, dead animal photos, and properly loaded dishwashers. Like, you know, it's very specific things. I appreciate, you know, I understand like, you know, oh, she, Kelsey took the time to like really like fill out their profile, right? And it's like, yeah, I guess, like, you know, these are not uncommon things necessarily, but it's definitely not like the first thing that would come into my head if I was listing off my likes and dislikes. I don't know, man, this is just like a very normal profile to me. Hold my own in social situations, so you can leave me unattended and I probably won't embarrass you. Yeah, and like, this is normal. I like this picture, this is nice. Freshly baked sourdough, new lift, PRs and gym, perfect weather days, road trips, good coffee. I find joy in many things. Yeah. Oh, that shrug emoji. Yeah, okay, my bad. I was over here thinking about like the actual, like the shrug emoji. Yeah, I mean, I guess I used that in like 2014. What year are we in? No, that's not a diss on Kelsey. All right, when a, when a woman does it, when a femme presenting person does it, it's fine. When a man does it, girl, Shut up. I think you have a superpower, it'd be teleportation. Flying would be cool, but teleportation is just so much more efficient. True. I concur. I agree. Normal profile, right? Pretty shit. No, it's not. It's not even bad. It's not even a bad profile. It's just very normal, right? It's not. I mean, I can't. I don't know what like a not normal profile would look like. It's certainly not out of the ordinary. Update. This is not the first time Ryan Andrews has done this. He pulled the same thing with this person in summer of 2021 shared with permission. Are there any other women in Southeastern Ontario? Uh, this man has invaded and harassed this way. Please do me if it has. Okay, let's see. All right, so Alice, Alice, Sandra, Sandra, we're gonna call you Sandra. Are you okay with that? Do not need protect? I don't need to protect this creep. So this was the summer of 2021 and I was on a dating app that was not liked that was not linked to my social media and he found me on Facebook. After I replied, I am not interested. He unsent all the voice memos, but it was about six over two to three minutes each. He said a lot of the same creepy stuff, like the big feet line, as well as the, my mom wrote your profile. He said the same misogynistic backhanded compliments, like something about how pretty girls can't have personalities. Also the way he talked about his gigs, like he was Sean freaking Mendez selling out the Rogers Center. <laughs> saying he was going pretty well for himself financially. It was so creepy. There was a lot of overlapping your voice notes as the ones I received. Today, my friend was like, you got to hear this thing I saw on Twitter. And as soon as my friend started reading the opening line, I went, wait, is the guy's name Ryan Andrews? Wild. Thank you for sharing. I'm sorry that this happened to you. So yeah, creepy. We love a good copy and paste moment. Reusing material. Anyway, I know there's more. Here we go. The whole reason why I want to really make this video was because I just kept seeing updates about this and I was like, God damn, how much stuff is on this guy? Confirmed this has happened to two additional women, one in 2016 and one in 2017. Like my God, this guy is just going back in time. I will not be sharing the details of 2016 encounter to protect her identity, safety, and peace, but you can find the mention of the 2017 encounter from Hotlanta. Yeah, he saw me via Tinder. We did not match and then he found me on Facebook, maybe in 2017. I blocked and deleted him, but it was the same insanity in the increasingly erratic voice notes. This creep 
has been at it for years. Wild. All right, what's next? Update three. Shared with permission, this encounter with Ryan happened in November 2021 and can be seen here. If there are any other women who have been approached by this man, please DM me. Okay, I saw you muted responses to that post, but that man child messaged me the same exact script in 2021. I don't think I can send a screenshot of it. I didn't engage any further with it and never put two and two together that it was from Bumble. Fucking creep. I'm sorry you had to deal with him even further. I was still catching up on the voice notes he sent you. The I'm winging it thing is absolute BS. All right, so this is from Ryan Andrews, Alessia. This is from November 14th, 2021. Alessia, I mean, uh, K nuts. Mayhaps. It's the same mayhaps. Literally the exact same dialogue, except he changed the weather descriptor on a chilly Sunday after. Oh, wow. This is the saddest thing. I have ever seen in my entire life. This man is such a fucking loser. I can't even imagine being this down bad. It's ridiculous. Oh my God, there's more. Another story from 2016 shared with permission. We're going back at least seven years with this behavior, folks. Christ. I, I could just type all this. But Wait, no, go from the beginning. Going. Uh, sorry for being all cryptic. I did not mean to. It was just by the time you messaged me back last night, it was kind of late. Didn't want to wake up my glorified roommate. Um, and yeah, I, I could just type all this, but this this way you get to hear my lovely, delicious voice, and I sound cooler and no, you don't. Less crazy. Anyway, long story short, um, I just saw you in Tinder, and normally I would have been like, all right, cute white chick, nice butt. All right, I'll swipe right. But the stuff you wrote was really cool. Um, who the fuck doesn't like arc dogs and music? And uh, <laughs> it's gonna sound really silly, but I think your song thing was a song by Bright Eyes. I don't know that song. But, um, you know their song, First Day of My Life? Uh, how do I tell this story without taking up hours? Uh, I work on cruise ships as a musician. Before that, I would gig in bars. But on cruise ships, I'd have to play a lot of the stuff that, like, older... Oh, my God. Anonymously sharing another story from a few years ago. Christ. Hey, I saw your post about Ryan Andrews. Thought I shared my story about him as well, as it's a little different. I was out in a group of guy friends at a bar in that place that I don't know how, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, a few years ago, and Ryan was actually the musician playing at the bar. He asked the entire bar to follow him on Instagram in order to grow his followers. So to be kind and support a local musician, I gave him what I thought was a harmless follow. Five minutes later, he's taking a break from playing music, and while I'm still sitting at the table at the bar with all my friends, he starts messaging me about how pretty I am, etc., and asks if I wanted to stick around and hang out with him after he's done playing. I tell him no thanks, and that I have other plans, and then I leave the bar with my friends. Within, misin ugh. Within minutes of leaving the bar, he's blowing up my phone asking where I went. If he can meet up with me somewhere else once he's done playing music for the night, etc. I stop replying. A few hours later, when he's finished his- Hello world. Uh, within minutes of leaving the bar, he's blowing up my phone asking where- Okay, I already read that. Um, a few hours later, when he's finished his gig for the night, I get a series of nonstop voice notes very similar to what you shared, and he added me on multiple other social media channels. I blocked him at the point, at that point, and sadly no longer have the convo saved as this was years ago now. But just wanted to share, the guy is definitely a weirdo. Hmm, Helen Keller could have told me that. Update number six. It just keeps going. OMG, do you have any pictures of this guy? I went to a bar in okay jesus christ just making up words now with a friend and ryan andrews was performing we talked about him for less than a minute and he found my friend on insta that same night i'm pretty sure we never gave him her name i just tried looking him up on insta right now to see if the profile picture is the same but his account is nowhere to be found all of a sudden hmm omg stop that's literally him he's bald so he lied maybe He's probably not even six feet tall. Update seven is perhaps the most insidious so far. This dates back to a decade ago. It involves a woman who was only 20 slash 21 at the time. He slapped her and told her she liked it, not giving her the space to decide for herself how she felt. He assaulted her. How many others? Wow. So this goes back 10 to 11 years ago. Ryan has been doing this lo a long time. We had a mutual ugh. we had a mutual guy friend on Facebook, exchanged commentary on a post or two before he added me. I was maybe 20, 21. He did make himself come off busy with his gigs and so on. So one day we went out to have a pitcher of beer at a Boston pizza. I thought it was harmless, but it did feel like he was sort of assessing me. It didn't v vibe. Mm -mm. It didn't vibe or click, but we were friendly enough that I thought that the night was going to end okay. He dropped me off at home. Luckily, I lived in a townhouse complex and he left me in the parking lot. He leaned in to kiss me, grabbed my neck and slapped me. It was like a test slap to see how 
I responded to it. I was frozen. And then he told me that I liked it. And that was that. Shortly after, we got into a heated argument under a post where he was defending an abuser and asked what did the woman do to deserve it. Hmm. It's not until now in my big age that when I talked about that experience that I was actually assaulted. We had no prior conversations insinuating I was into that shit. And it was literally the first time we hung out. And the last. I blocked and deleted him shortly after. When I asked my friend how did he know about him, he said he didn't really know him intimately. They just had a pleasant exchanges under some posts and realized they lived in the GTA. I was young and stupid and completely caught off guard. Feel free to share my story. I would appreciate my name if I wasn't share the da -da 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 -da. cool. I mean, not cool. That's not cool at all. Wow. Up. Oh God. Update number eight. And there's another voice memo. I'm so annoyed. Another woman's encounter with him on Hinge. This includes his profile. I want to clarify that they did not match and he has not technically done anything wrong here. However, it still made her uncomfortable enough to record and send her to her friends. Hi, thank you for sharing about this creep. I rang it rang a bell and sure enough, one of my girlfriends in TO had shared something from him in our group chat from earlier this year. She doesn't have Twitter, so I'm sharing with her permission. Hey, Tara, I have just one thing to say to you. It's a bit of advice. If I touch you like this. Oh my God, I hate serenades so much. That's like the cringiest thing you could ever do ever. I don't care if you are fucking Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran, who else can sing? I don't know. I don't care if you have the pipes of a literal angel, like you literally went up into heaven, stole the vocal cords out of an angel with your bare fist and then lodged it into your own. I don't care how good of a singer you are. Don't sing to me. Don't do it unless I ask for it. Like a lullaby? I can handle a lullaby. And you kiss me like that. Please stop. It was so long ago, but Please it's all... stop. How's it going, buddy? I love that part of your bio, by the way. That made me chuckle. And I think there's something in there about like, hey, if you laugh at my jokes, well, guess what? I'm fucking hilarious. I make my living on a microphone, talking and singing. Who would've, who would've guessed that, right? Um, hey, you must not be making much. You ain't getting out of the out of the burrows, babe. Sorry. Just trying to perk myself up out of a bad mood because my bar gig this evening just canceled on me with pretty much no notice. Those three hundred bucks cash I'm not making tonight. Um, but yes, this match made me chuckle again, and obviously you're a very pretty lady, and you seem like my kind of funny. So uh, hey, how's it going? My name's Ryan, six feet tall, big uh, big feet. Sing you are you're not six feet. You're probably like five ten. Maybe five, nine and a half. You're just trying to skirt on by. You're, you're, you're not fooling anybody, Ryan Reynolds. That's not his name. Thing for a living, humble. Uh, we should be friends. Anyway, I hope this made you laugh and smile. That was the point. And I look forward to chatting with you. Cheers. Ooh, wait, pause. Go back up. What did he look like? I didn't really get it. Yeah, he's bald. He is so bald. You have no hair on your head. There's nothing wrong with bald people, but like, I'm just, I'm so stuck on the bald thing because he literally said that he had hair. And so that was like super annoying. Green flags I look for, you also go to therapy. Self-awareness is sexy. Also go nuts for emotional availability slash intelligence. A big flirt to roast ratio helps too. Oh my God, the emojis just kill me. This man's 36. I was like trying to find the age because I'm like a decade. So he's been doing this. Okay. so. Assuming that this was recorded this year recently, so he's like 36 currently. So 26 and 21. That's a little bit weird. It's that's a little bit weird of an age gap. It's a bit weird. I don't know. I hate having age gap conversations because I feel like there's just, I don't know. There's a lot of nuance there. So I'm not going to go down that road. I, I tried it with my Woody Allen video and I'm just, I'm not doing that again. Dang. <laughs> Ugly people should never exist. You uh, do not get to hear me sing for free. You know, I do this full time, so people pay me quite a bit, right? All right, I lied. If you scroll down, there is a video of me singing <laughs> Mr. Brightside to a bunch of very happy drunks at a bar gig. It was a request. I had to do it. I also sing at a lot of retirement homes and nursing homes, so uh, I know what you're thinking, and I will confirm it. I am a big hit with women over 90. They call me young and handsome. Occasionally, I get my butt grabbed. It's awesome. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day, and uh, chat soon. Cheers. Don't cheers me. You're not the great Gatsby. Old sport. But yeah, how are you going to be ugly and creepy? At least be hot and creepy. Right? That, right? It's, it's giving Wattpad. It's giving AO3. In that case, but like, 
Mm -mm. You can't be ugly and creepy. Pick a struggle. <sighs> Update number nine. This woman matched with Ryan Reynolds. That's not his name. Ryan Andrews on Hinge a couple months ago. This is how it went in her words. Shared with permission, keeping anonymous. Okay. I matched with Ryan on Hinge a few months ago. He instantly started sending me voice notes, very similar to the ones that he left you and would blow up my phone throughout the day. He kept saying that I looked healthy. Insinuated that I looked fat, even though he insisted that is not how he intended it. He also kept making sexual references and sexual jokes, even when I expressed that I was uncomfortable and gaslit, ugh, gaslit me saying that he's not a fuckboy or looking to just hook up, but that it was an important part of a relationship. He gave me the ick and made me really uncomfortable. So I stopped messaging him af mm, back. And after seeing what you and other women have experienced, I'm glad I did. Thank you for sharing your story. I think I offer a different perspective because I did match with him rather than him finding me on social media. This guy needs to be stopped. This whole nice guy who's safe and not like the others because he goes to therapy and is emotionally intelligent, his words, watches Gilmore Girls is best friends with his mom, sings to old people, and watches swans as a charade. His actions are uh, his actions are inexcusable, and I guarantee you there are many more stories out there of him coming on too strong, making women uncomfortable. Update number 10. Ryan Andrews is 36. He found out where a 20-year-old girl he'd seen on Bumble work called her workplace to ask if after her, wait, what? called her workplace to ask after her three to four times and left a review. Her brothers had to walk her home for a while for her to feel safe. As always, shared with permission. Oh my gosh, I just saw your thread on Ryan Andrews by chance, and I've also had an experience with him. This is so insane because I let the moment go away, but it really freaked me out. He called my workplace? He asked if I worked there and said we connected on the dating app which we didn't, and that he lost connection to it, so he wanted to find another way to reach out to me. He left his full name though, Ryan Andrews. I'm also 20 and I'm sure he's far older, so that really freaked me out. Sorry these messages were sent so sporadically. The minute I saw his name and the way he talked reminded me, and then I saw where this was taking place and it all clicked. His name is Ryan Andrews. I had made a bumble once I turned 19, but eventually left the app. He left a review on Square at my workplace saying he knew me from the app and asked when I would be coming in next and that regards he'd be coming in to buy some products. He called about three to four times and spoke to about two co-workers about me. I was too nervous to go to work or walk alone from work after that. My brothers had to begin walking me home for a while. Wow. Oh my God, name Ryan. I'm looking for an employee name to blank. We met on a dating site and something happened on my end, but blah, blah, blah. I know it's a long shot, but when she's in it, wow. I love how there's just the heart, the sparkly hearts. Like, hey, this is guy looking for you. Anyway, just letting you know, tee hee. That and as an isolated thing is funny. All right, but this is actually really, really fucking scary. He said he was talking to you on the app. It lost connection. It's 2023. He dropped connection. It's so early 2000s. He called the store twice on both calls. It was a deadline and I answered. So I checked the caller ID and saw the number or called the number right back. When I called back, he asked if I can take his number. So I wrote it down and posted. it. Also, I asked him for the number. He was like, oh, wait, hold on. And then laughed and said, embarrassing. How do I not know my own number? I thought that to be super weird. This is so weird. Update, oh my God, it just, it, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And there's an update 12. It never ends. Apparently his real name is Ryan. You know what? We're gonna stick with Ryan Reynolds. I know it's Ryan Andrews, but like Ryan Reynolds is the only thing coming up in my head right now. Hello, please keep my name out of this. He's a creep. Oh, I'm getting hot. I'm sweating. I'm sweating for these girls. Y'all don't mind if the girls are out, do you? I'm wearing a tank top. He's a creep going back years and was doing this stuff in Alberta. His real name is Ryan Reynolds. We're going with Reynolds. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not pronouncing that. Some of us went to the cops and one showed us one of, one of us that he was in the system, but the cop wouldn't say for what? Not surprised. He's still a fuck nut. Oh my God. He's a criminal. You bet. I'm sorry. This happened. Be careful. I truly believe he's dangerous or will be eventually. Oh my God. This ask the, oh my God. This went from worse to worse. Okay. This one's from 2018 and we'll take a couple tweets. It's bulky, shared with permission. Okay. I don't know if you're overhearing about and posting people's experience with him, but I had a similar 
very creepy experience with him where he sent multiple voice notes unprovoked that had sexual undertones and it was honestly so gross. I felt like I was being stalked. We never matched on any dating site, although he tried to tell me he saw me on my Instagram on one. I had never connected my Instagram to any of my dating apps, so he fully had to search and find me. When I called him out, he was like, I can explain, I can explain. I could send you the screenshots if you want to see and go further into the story. I don't mind if you share. This is back in 2018 when I first moved back to Canada. I had been in the country for all about maybe five weeks when he started to reply to all of my stories on IG. My profile was public and I've since made it private ever since this happened. He would just react to the stories and sometimes message. I didn't notice them at first, but when he started sending messages, I took note of them. What really creeped me out was he was calling me Jessicles, as if he gave me a nickname, Christ. And to me, it was like testicles, no. I mean, you said it, not me. I was I mean, I wasn't going there. I wasn't going there, but I mean, you said it first. Anyway, I didn't like that, so I called him out for that. And that is when I got the voice notes. He proceeded to say things about him and his mom having a good relationship like Gilmore Girls, except last time he checked, he had a dick. Said he had really big feet and chuckled and said he gives good back rubs and made mention of him being a musician at least six times. He also knew moved from Australia, which he wouldn't know unless he had fully stalked my Instagram profile. I also have no idea how he found me. It's not like Jess is an uncommon name. He proceeded to end his voice notes with i love you bye oh my god just blow my brains out which felt super off even if he thinks he was being funny i don't know the whole thing really freaked me out and i never replied to him again looks like he's deleted his insta and i'm sure he's seen your post but these are the screenshots holy tits jessica what the hell the emotional roller coaster of your insta stories today lol so many feelings oh that is a cute dog though look at that little angel baby Christ, you, just, you have to react to every single one, but I don't think I've ever met you. Oh God, I'm sorry. I just tried to decide how much I want to embarrass myself here. Ha. Huh? Okay, I'm going in. I'll attempt to explain, but you have to promise to join in with, oh my God, I just, I don't even feel like reading this. Like this is the same thing, same song and dance. Like this is a TikTok trend, same song and dance all the time. I'm bored. You're boring me. So this is, I think these are the voice. Oh my God, there's so many. I've been recording for an hour and a half. This guy is like insane. Oh, that's a 13th update. Christ, we're gonna be here all day. Hey Jess, how's it going? Uh, yeah, don't mind me. I, I just really don't like texting. Um, I avoid it wherever possible. Uh, plus, since one of my goals right now is to convince you that I'm not a fucking serial killer, this should hopefully help. Um Do we have to- we're not listening to all of this. I'm so sorry. If you want to listen to- listen, Kelsey has a whole thing. If you genuinely, from the bottom of your beautiful, big, fat, juicy heart want to listen to all of this. You can go out of your way. Like I've been recording for so long. I didn't think this, this video was going to take as long as it is, but I don't know. This is giving my Oron High School Host Club video a run for its money. And it's the, again, same song and dance, you know, doing the renegade beat. It's, it's the same dance. It's the same thing over and over and over again. Copying down the homework, but then changing up the words a little bit. Like that's basically what's going on here. Anyway, update number three, two separate women in 2015, 2016 shared with permission. Oh my God, this is from Ryan Andrews. Are you 18 yet? So you can come watch me at the bar gigs, you derp. Oh my God, I guess, I guess, I guess that's appropriate for the time. But this sounds like something he, he would very much say in 2023. Bring the BF, I'll let you get on stage and sing a few. We can compare versions of full- Oh my god, this guy is so lame. You whore? I trusted you? You double whore? Friendship over? Hey, Buxicle, are you just bad with answering texts like regular white girls lush? I have cat's behavior or should I stop trying to be your friend? I'm down with either. Just thought I'd ask. You're not funny, Ryan Andrew. Oh, I'm sorry. It's There's no S at the end of this time. What are you just slowly changing your name over time? What the hell is going on here? Update 14 from a musician in the GTA who by f default runs the same circuits as Ryan Andrew, Kono, Con whatever. Shared anonymously. Okay. I am a musician in the era that has been gigging here for years and was approached by Ryan a year or so ago. When I rejected him, he lashed out at me and told me that I was a whore and encouraged cancel culture. I proceeded to block him and he made seven and eight more accounts so he can harass me via different social media channels. He threatened to take away all of my gigs, slander my name at venues, and make sure that I didn't get hired in the area. He's very violent and very dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. It's nice to see that the karma has finally made its way around. A friend of me, mm, mine, excuse me, a friend of mine sent this thread this morning and I knew exactly who it was before she sent me the screenshots, which is telling enough. This woman went on a single date with him 10 years ago. He yelled at her in a public restaurant after she called him out on manipulating his ex-girlfriend. All right, 
So this is fun. My partner was following your story about Ryan Andrews. And as soon as he played that voice memo for me, I knew exactly who it was. Went on a date with him about 10 years ago. Wow. Making really a lasting impression, Ryan Andrews. People from decades past, people from Christmas past are coming out of the woodworks to share their stories. That's crazy. Went on a date with him about 10 years ago and reading everyone else's responses, I'm so glad I never gave him my number, addresses, or socials. Yeah, t talked at me the entire date. It was just like listening to voice memos and then casually subbed in how he used to manipulate his XGF and called him out and I called him out on it. He did not enjoy that and proceeded to yell at me in a restaurant. I should have left, but I honestly was too scared. Then he tried to kiss me goodbye, never talked to him again until maybe two years later, he sees me on a dating app and sends me a bunch of voice memos, not knowing I was the same person since I guess he has done this to every woman in the GTA at this point. Stay safe. Oh my God. Update number 16. Ryan messaged this woman a year before she saw it and spent that entire year reacting to her stories on IG, April 2019. There are so many moments in these recordings that were identical and or made me die inside. i let y'all hear for yourselves. Screaming! Acknowledge that this is fucking weird and I apologize for that. Oh God, but, thing. you know, I don't want to seem like a total fuckboy here. Uh, yeah, you're, you're good looking. Um, big fan of your face. Couple other parts. I mean, it's, it's really cool that you look... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to be very, 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 very honest, okay? I've talked to people like this before. Like, you know, it kind of has like similar sort of personality like ryan andrews reminds me of like a few people like a few people in my head there's a few people that come to mind when i hear these voice notes or memos or whatever and like read these texts it's like ryan andrews is like the cringier version of like a bunch of people that i've talked to in the past i can see how this can be charming but he's not doing it very well at all and this is honestly crazy how many people have rallied together against this guy is this all of it is this all of the the updates it looks like it. It isn't over. I was literally in the middle of editing this video and I was like wrapping things up. I thought I was done. And then I check, there's more. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you. I'm just gonna have to read it out loud. That's gonna be very informal. I apologize. Update 17. This woman was originally approached by Ryan Andrews the same way I was, but had the misfortune of running into him at the park when she called him on using the R word. He angrily told her she was a woke feminist and ranted about the patriarchy. Also, Doc, thank you for exposing Ryan Andrews. I opened Bumble 24 hours before deleting my profile in 2021. He found me on Facebook or Instagram and started messaging me in this exact way. I live in South Miss, uh, whatever. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. And ran into him feeding the ducks at the park. I work with people with ASD and he kept casually using the word, dot word. When I called him on it, he launched into an aggressive rant about how I'm a woke feminist, the patriarchy isn't real. I felt so uncomfortable in a public park, I asked him to leave. He kept talking at me until I packed up my journal and left. I'm not surprised this is a pattern for him, but this is very alarming. I also received several voice notes with almost identical messaging to your posts, but have since deleted them. The fact that his behavior is being exposed is extremely validating. Thank you. That's update 17. Update 18. This one comes from a woman who actually met with Ryan Andrews in the fall of 2022. He tried to defend Andrew Tate. I roll. When she broke things off, he continued to call her and text her for months afterwards, trying to regain access to her. Hi, Kelsey. I hate to even be sending this message. I saw the Narcity article about Ryan last, the, whatever. Ryan Reynolds, okay. I want to vomit. I went on a few dates with him in the fall of 2022. He was borderline creepy with me. Tried to defend Andrew Tate to me once, but not nearly to the extent that you've documented, which makes me so embarrassed to even admit that I met with him. Uh, then they blocked out a few things. Don't know if this is helpful at all. I'm sure the police are already aware of him based on what I'm reading your posts. By the way, they're um, filing a police report on him right now. I know that Kelsey and a lot of the other victims are coming together to build a case against him so sending support love that for y'all i'm so sorry that this happened to you and so many others i wish i could go back in time and not meet him but i'm so glad i dodged a bullet and got out when i did when things ended between us he continued to contact me for months both calling and texting trying to worm his way back in i didn't reply and finally told him to back off a month ago and blocked his number 
all right and so and this finally this last one update 19 this is from two hours ago this was tweeted sorry i keep moving i my arm hurts i'm holding this manually Ooh, don't look at my room anyway uh so this one this woman used to work somewhere ryan andrews played he harassed her in the work place and then insulted her via facebook messenger telling her to hit the gym in order to get some quality dick assuming he meant his since he's got such big feet <sighs> shared anonymously have some ryan t from february 2018 he used to harass me at my place of work when he played there consistently commenting on my breasts and staring in front of other patrons i deleted my insta with more harassment via messages but i have a snippet of some things he said to me on facebook before i blocked and deleted would prefer to be anonymous being verbally attacked that way wasn't easy so that's for building this community okay so this is messages so these messages are what um ryan said to the anonymous person so ryan said if you want to get some quality dick with high standards then uh sell your ch sell your cat hit the gym maybe learn to be a masseuse i don't know and then the anonymous person replied hit the gym and then ryan said what he's like he's not even speaking english i don't even know. literally i will say exactly what he typed make yourself worth of this legendary slash rare ace high standards dick. That's literally what he typed. Like I'm losing brain cells. Okay, so the anonymous person is also confused because the way he worded this was horrible. And so the anonymous person replied, huh? And then sent a screenshot of what he just said. And then they said, make myself worth? Go fuck yourself. And then Ryan said, LOL, cat lady is mad because she asked a question and didn't like the answer. Cute, tell you what. I like your advice. I will fuck myself because I'm in my league. So I think as of right now, that is all of the updates. I'm sure there's going to be more at this point. Christ, but this video is already so long. It's like an hour long. I wasn't planning for that. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad if you've made it this far in the video. Thank you mm, from the bottom of my heart. I'm so sorry this was so long, but like there's literally so much about this guy. It's ridiculous. This guy is a loser. Loser. Elbows. Oh, pfft. tie a rock to your ankles and jump in a river. That's Ryan Andrews. You know, this guy is freaking weird. It was kind of funny at first, a little bit, but then it was like, we're well, not funny, but it was like, it was kind of cringe at first, but then it just got creepy, scary. So yeah, if you live in like, Canada, I know it's Canada, but if you live in Canada, yeah, just like, don't talk to anyone ever. I don't even, I like, I genuinely don't even know what to say. Like, what's a good wrap up? Um, don't give men anything they deserve nothing i'm kidding no i'm not i just wanted to share that i wanted to show that because like i don't know like i said if i was going to sit down and listen to those voice memos it was going to be with you we suffered together here hope you enjoyed this video though um thanks for sticking around for my whatever i don't even know merch merch is coming out tomorrow i'm so excited but yeah that's just one of many ways to support the channel once again if you were in my discord um i said this in my last video but if you're in my discord we are doing a little giveaway i'm giving away two of the stickers actually yeah i said it was going to be two auto items it's going to be the stickers y'all it's the cheapest one there i i this is coming out of my pockets so that means I'm, I'm going with the cheapest option beggars cannot be choosers thanks for watching if you like the video like the video if you like the person like the person subscribe to the video subscribe to the person do what you want i really don't care the world is your oyster you have full control of yourself and your decisions so do you ryan andrews by the way if you're out there you have full control over all of this and this is what you decided to do be a weirdo but anyway i'm out this hoe buy my merch okay bye